Today we'll be discussing functional responses in ecology. Functional responses model the intake rate of a consumer as a function of food density and is generally divided into three types, type 1, type 2, and type 3. A type 1 functional response, as represented by this green line, assumes that the amount of food a predator consumes increases linearly with the food density. This linear increase assumes that the food processing time is negligible, meaning that the time for the consumer to prepare and eat its food does not interfere with the search for food. An example of a type 1 um, organism is the big blue whale. Blue whales are an example of a type 1 predator. Despite their large size, blue whales use a technique called filter feeding to consume krill, which are very small animals. Filter feeding is a method of straining suspended matter and food particles from water by passing the water over a filtering structure. Due to this feeding method, whales do not have to spend much time processing their prey because they filter and eat whatever flows into their mouth. As there are more krill, the whale is able to eat more and more. This is represented by the linear line of a type 1 functional response. A type 2 functional response curve is shown here on this graph in blue. As the density of prey population increases, you start to see the curve plateau. This plateau is thought to be due to the time it takes a predator to eat and process its prey, interfering with its ability to search for more prey. So as the density of prey increases, it's already eating as many prey as possible and cannot search for any more. The functional response of wolves preying on caribou is a type 2 functional response. When caribou density is low, wolves have ample time to eat a caribou before going on to find the next one. Since caribou are relatively rare, the wolf has plenty of time to eat the first caribou before even encountering the second caribou. When there is a medium density of caribou, wolves have an easier time finding caribou. but still have plenty of time to eat each caribou before encountering the next one. When there is a high density of caribou, there are plenty of caribou for a wolf to attack. However, since it takes time for a wolf to eat the caribou it kills, the amount of time it takes for a wolf to process its prey interferes with the time it takes to catch the next caribou. This is represented by the plateau in the type 2 functional response curve. What we see here is a type 3 functional response. A type 3 functional response is similar to type 2 in that when there's a high level of prey consumed, there's a plateau. However, type 3 functional response can be distinguished by its accelerating relationship between density of prey population and number of prey consumed. And this exponential increase is caused by learning. Learning is defined as the natural improvement of a predator's searching and attacking efficiency. Thus, this increase is caused by predators learning how to better attack and obtain their food. Here, we see an example of type 3 functional response. In this case, the deer mice is feeding on sawfly cocoons. Mm. As the number of cocoons increase, the mice will learn to be more efficient. Mm, mm, mm. Thus, as the number of cocoons increase, deer mice will learn to better prey on the cocoons and experience an increase in number of cocoons eaten per individual. Mm, 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 mm.